All right, so this is a video that I've wanted to make for a couple of years actually, but I was hesitant to do it because I wasn't sure if my experience was just like unique to, you know, my location and just myself, you know, um, but I have recently like come across some TikToks and some YouTube videos and I've been reading the comments and everything and it seems like my experience was not unique so i just wanted to kind of put this out there so if other people have experienced something similar or if you're someone who's thinking about signing up to a um, kind of chain or commercial gym just kind of i don't want to discourage you from doing it necessarily because some of these gyms in terms of going and just using the equipment and everything you know they're good like the equipment is good the space is good, the convenience, where it's located, you know, some of those things are good. But I just want to kind of give you some advice on kind of what to expect when you go in and kind of some tips on how to avoid some of the more negative things that may may come from that. Um, so my experience is specific to Anytime Fitness and basically I had like two main there's not a whole lot of gyms around my area and I had two main choices so there was going to be anytime or there was going to be planet and there's a few other gyms but they're more like I felt like they're more for like bodybuilders or you know things like that um and those were the two that I was more familiar with because they are the commercial gyms and so you see advertisements and things for them more and I ultimately I looked online, which I'm probably going to make another video that just compares Anytime and Planet because I was like, okay, well, which one should I choose, Anytime or Planet? And um, based on what was online, I it seemed like Anytime would be the one to go because I was wanting to get into more like actual weightlifting and some people had commented online that said that, you know, uh, Planet doesn't have like... Um, of barbells and I was under the impression that they didn't have like a lot of loose weights at all um, which actually turns out to not be the case but I just I thought that anytime might have more of the equipment that I would need um, and also anytime was closer to me and there were a lot more locations like there's actually three anytime locations that are closer to me than the planet location so anyway that's why I chose anytime and so I go in there the one thing I don't like about Anytime, is, or the first thing that I didn't like about it, is they're not upfront about their costs. So I couldn't find costs anywhere that were really specific. Some In blogs, I found some people give some ranges of things, but on all their websites, it's like, well, it varies by location, so contact the location. So there was this big push to like go to the location and talk to them. And so I, I always like... I'm kind of hesitant about that because I'm like, if you don't have your cost stated up front, like that always seems a little bit sketchy to me. But with Planet, you know, they have their cost right up front. It's either $10 or $20 basically. And, um, but so I'm like, well, whatever, if it's closer to me and it has more equipment, if it's more expensive, I'll be willing to pay for it, you know, whatever. And so I go in there and it was just... I don't want to talk bad about the girl that was a manager at the time because I actually I think outside of the setting I would really like this girl and I and I did like her but I could I got the sense whenever I went in there I could just tell it was a really like big on they were trying to sell me and so they'll you'll go in and they'll I, I think you contact them schedule an appointment to go in and then they'll meet up with you they'll take you around they'll give you a tour they'll start asking you all these questions about like what are your goals and all this stuff and i was just kind of like i kind of just want to like come and join the gym um but they start asking about what are your goals and all this stuff and then finally at the end they start talking about the pricing and basically if you're gonna do month to month it's an outrageous price like you could go to a really nice big gym for the amount that they would charge month to month. Um, I want to say it was like $80 a month, something like that. And maybe more. <laughs> but so they're trying to get you to sign up for these like a year contract or two year contract. 
and in my mind I was like well I'm living here now in this town I plan to stay here for a while I might as well sign up for this two-year contract and it was like cheaper I think with the two-year contract it was like $45 I think 45 or 55 I want to say it was 45 I probably should check the price but anyway for the two-year contract I think it was 45 I think if you were gonna go one year it was like 55 or 65 and that's just for like the base membership and then if you wanted to add they had tanning beds at my location if you wanted to add tanning it's like an extra ten dollars a month if you wanted to they have this in in body scanner thing if you wanted to add like a free monthly in body scan it was like another cost so i mean their base if you've got the two-year contract it's, it's not any lower i don't think than 45 dollars and at least at my location and um so there's that and then they want you to go talk to their training manager and so not all anytime locations have personal training but the ones that do offer personal training they'll want to like set you up with their training manager now if you know 100 percent that you're not interested in personal training tell them that and do not let them like bully you into they're gonna you know oh we'll give you free training or whatever like that would be my advice if you know that you're not interested in personal training do not let them talk you into it and i wa i just watched this youtube video i'll link it in the description where the lady was talking about the marketing tactics that a lot of these places use and it sounds like anytime uses and they'll kind of like try to guilt people and make them feel bad to do the personal training or whatever and at the time i was actually wanting to kind of work with a trainer i didn't want to work with one for very long i'd actually signed up for an online training course and it offered an at home and a gym version and i'd been doing the workouts at home but i wanted to start doing the gym versions and I just wanted to get comfortable with the gym basically I wanted to work out with a trainer to get comfortable with the gym equipment because I wasn't familiar with the gym equipment and like how to use it and everything and you know they scheduled me with this guy and they're like yeah we'll give you like a week's worth like three training sessions or I can't even remember like the guy was just very like quick talking and like and I'm just like okay yeah whatever <laughs> if you give me some free some free sessions then all right that's what I'm looking for and um so then it so I was working out with this guy and this trainer was actually a really good trainer um and he he had so they try to push this group training package on you and I don't know maybe I'm going into too much detail but if you want detail I'm going to give it to you um so I was finishing out this training thing that I was doing. The trainer was coming in, meeting up with me, working through my training sessions and everything. And then it kind of came time to come to the end of the training. And the training manager was like, hey, we're doing, we're kicking off this like contest or something. And um, it costs this certain amount. And, you know, if you do it, you know, whoever wins the contest, you'll get like a free month of training with the group training or something like that. And it was like a group training thing. And you know, what? I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but they'll do these packages and they'll try to get you to sign up because the group training is cheaper. And then the thing is, is the guy was very misleading for me. And I should have known because the first day when I came in there for him to try to like talk about my training and what I wanted to do, um, the training manager, there was somebody like waiting to talk to him. And this was right after like gyms had started opening back up for COVID. And there was a couple that wanted to talk to him about like, they were charging them for the whole time that COVID was happening for their training packages. And they were wanting to know, like, can we get out of this? And he was literally, he's like, yeah, they're kind of mad at me about something and they can just wait. And I'm thinking, maybe you should talk to them. I've got, you know, time, whatever. That seemed a little bit shady, but I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. And, 
but yeah, like he was trying to sell me on this like training thing and I was trying to ask about the cost. I'm like, so like how much is a regular training session? Like never had this been even mentioned to me, uh, even after I'd been doing all these trainings with this guy. And he was just kind of like, well, kind of tried to change the subject. He's like, well, this one is just like $175. And then finally he told me, I'm like, well, how much if I was just going to pay for the training? He's like, well, you're really better off to buy the training package because each session is like $30. But then if you, if you buy like the, the unlimited, then it's $62 a week. So if you come to basically two trainings, if you come to three, like you're getting all the rest of them for free basically. And so I was coming really regularly. I was really into working out. I liked this trainer. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, and I did also didn't realize that whenever I signed up for that training, he didn't tell me. He just was putting the paperwork in front of me and this was on me. I should have like slowed everything down and asked to read like the fine print and everything. Um, I was under the impression that I was just signing up for this like month long challenge or whatever they were doing. But if someone asks you to sign up for this challenge, read the fine print because I thought I was just signing up for the challenge. Instead, they signed me up for like a year contract doing these like weekly trainings, charging me $62 a week. And you know, like I realized that that's what would ha what had happened and I'm like, that's shady, but I'm using these trainings. I was coming in three, four, five days a week. I had just worked it into my schedule to come in every day and work out. And so, I was like, this is, and this was like when I wanted to kind of make a video because I'm like, I know this is some shady stuff going on. It's fine for me, but other people, this may not, you know, be something that they, they be into. But yeah, so I was like, whatever. And so I'd been working out with this one trainer for, I don't know, several months. And then he left um like I think early in 2021 he said that he was he was going to be leaving and they were bringing in another trainer to train and um I don't know I just towards the end I started getting this feeling that like I, I didn't really say anything and he didn't openly say anything but I got the feeling that they weren't paying him properly um or they weren't like doing what they needed to do to allow him to do his job properly, like to recruit people. Like it, they didn't have like an app, they were supposed to have an app set up where you could sign up for classes. So I was never clear on like what time the classes were gonna happen, if they were gonna be scheduled, you know, it was just, there was a couple of things. Like he was really good at kind of staying on top of it, but then like after he left, a lot of the people that trained with him quit quit coming and um so I was just kind of like I would be the only one showing up for group fitness and that was kind of awkward for me like I didn't really like to be the only one I like to be there with some other people um but anyway just watch out for their shady stuff like that's all I would say I would honestly recommend don't sign up for training right away don't do maybe do their free sessions but definitely do not let them talk you into signing up for anything like kind of watch what's going on and see if it seems like there's a good trainer because with the like year and a half that i was going in there for the training sessions um they went through like four different trainers so trainers do not stay there so if you have a trainer that you like they're probably going to quit because it seems like they don't schedule them well they don't take care of them i don't know what was up but for some reason the trainers weren't staying and um and yeah it just it, it was very disorganized and and just not worth definitely not worth you know $30 per training or $62 a week, you know, whatever on top of the $55 a month that you're already paying for the gym membership. Like it's, it just, 
I mean, the workouts were fine. I felt like I was getting in okay shape, but it just, it, it wasn't organized very well. Um, so that's number one. So the training, the whole training thing, don't let them bully you into probably doing the training package. Um, number two, when you go to cancel it. So this really upset me and it upset me. I was upset at the girl who was the manager because I really, after watching this video that I'm going to link below that I just watched, I don't think it was her fault. And I, I always had the impression that it wasn't necessarily, that this wasn't something that she on her own would want to do. I felt like that the corporate anytime were pushing her to do these things. And she even seemed like, she seemed so miserable coming into work, the, the, store manager or whatever like it just got to where she seemed like she was miserable and like she was just going through the motions and I got the feeling I'm like this is a terrible job and she hates this job and it's because they were always making them like go on to zoom call so like I was trying to go at the same time for my training sessions every week but like on every other Friday they couldn't do my time because they had to do this zoom call for the corporate or whatever and it just and and you could tell like whenever they would be pushing her to do like these sales things and you could, I I don't know it was just just shady just all shady and um but yeah like this upset me because I'm like you know you don't like doing this like it was when I went to go cancel the training because I had gotten really busy with school I got in COVID so there was like a couple of weeks that I wasn't showing up for training and they don't like they're still charging you if you sign up for like the training package or whatever. Like they charge you every week whether or not you come um, if you've got that package, if you're paying just for each section. And I would watch if you are paying by session to make sure that they're not charging you for sessions that you didn't go to, you know. Um, but yeah, so I go to cancel, I look at my contract and I'm like, you know what? I've got like a month left on my contract. Maybe I'll show up to some of these sessions. I'll just go ahead and just say that I, let her know that I want to end the contract. I don't want it to be recurring because when they entered it in, they put it in as a recurring contract. So it was due to come up this year and it was just gonna reset. And so I'm like, I wanna cancel this before the end of my contract so I can be done with it. And so I tried to email her and just be like, hey, I'm not using my training. I'm too busy. Um, I just, I don't want to renew my contract. I'll pay out the rest, but whatever. And if you try to cancel it early, which I wasn't, I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll pay out the normal. They'll charge you like an extra $180 or something for getting out of it early. So I guess there is a way to get out of it early, but you've got to pay like a penalty. But, um, yeah, so I tried, yeah, I tried emailing and then she was like, oh, you've got to come in. And I'm like, oh God, I hate that. I had a tanning company that did that to me and it was obnoxious, but I was like, fine, if I can get out of all of this money that I'm spending. So $62 a week was over $200 a month on top of like the $55 I was paying for the gym and the tanning, you know, so I was spending an outrageous amount of money at this place every month and so and it was stressing me I was like getting anxiety and stress about it because yeah and I didn't want to go and go in person but I did and she was like oh I'm going to you know I want my my new training manager to be here when you cancel it and I was like okay whatever and um yeah, that part actually wasn't that bad. Like she made it pretty easy on me. I was just like, I just, I'm not coming and I just want to cancel it, pay out. I just don't want it to recur, you know, whatever. She had me sign some paperwork and I'm like, I'm keeping this. I had a copy of my, keep your contract, keep copies of all of the stuff. So you have proof is another thing. And um, so I signed it and I was like, all right, cool. We're done on that contract. It had like the date of when, my last payment was gonna be taken out. I had a printout of like all the payments it was supposed to make. And so I'm like, oh, good, this is done, you know, whatever. And I'm like, all right, this date. So I kept an eye on it. And sure enough, 
after that date, the next week, they charged me again. And I was just like, I can't believe this. And so I emailed her again and I was like, hey, um, my contract says it's supposed to end on this date and you still charge me. And then this is what made me so mad at her because I was like, oh, you know, you know that you charge me extra. But she had responded like, no, it actually ends on this date. So this was your last charge. And so I'm like, they got that extra $62 out of me and probably would have kept getting money out of me if, if I wouldn't have like been keeping an eye on it. So I don't know, I think this actually I think my two-year contract is coming up so I'm actually still a member at the place and I do go I just go I want to avoid all the people that work there and so I've been going at like four or five in the morning because that was another thing that I liked about anytime was they're like always open and I just have like a key thing to get in so I've just been going super early in the morning to avoid everyone at this point I I think that girl has left the one who's the manager there's a new training manager. There's a new, I'm pretty sure like everybody is new. I think everybody quit all at once actually. Cause one day I went in, there was like a note on the door. That's like, this location isn't staffed for now. You know, if you need to talk to someone call this location. So I think everybody just quit and, um, they've got some new people, but I haven't ever been in because I don't want to want to see those people, honestly. Um, yeah, there, there was another one more thing that happened that was a very negative experience. This is a really bad video. I may make another one. I don't know if I'll even post this, but maybe I'll make another one where I have more solid points or whatever. But um, there's like two more things I want to say. So after the good trainer left and they hired another trainer, I the guy came in and he was so pumped and he was so like ready to go or whatever and he wasn't like a bad trainer but immediately I was like he's training these new people way too hard like we had a and this I the only reason I thought of this was because of that video um that other video I watched the girl was saying that one of their tactics that they taught her as a trainer at 24 hour fitness was whenever people come in train them extra hard so they'll feel like they need a trainer they'll feel like they're out of shape and so I'm wondering if that's because I was just like I felt bad for him because I'm like he's he's not a good trainer like he's not good at like seeing what's too much for people and like pulling back when he needs to I was like why is he doing this he literally this girl in high school was there with her mom and he was having her like do bench press and I'm like, I didn't do bench press until I was like a couple weeks in. And even with a few reps on the bar, I was sore. And this girl, by that time, like through the workout, I could already tell she was hating it. And like, yeah, she never came back. Like, I don't know why they think that tactic is going to work because I'm just like, she had a terrible time, a terrible workout. Like she's never coming back. And, but now I find out that that's one of their like, tactics to try to use to retain people in the personal training like or the group training but yeah like I just remember that but now it makes sense like why some of the trainers were doing some of the things that they were doing that like I'm, I mean I'm not a trainer but some of the stuff like just intuitively like didn't make sense to me and um and then there was a another I just lost oh so the girl who was the manager, we had lost that trainer and there was nobody to train for a while. And so the girl who was the manager moved in to be the trainer and then they hired a new office manager. This guy, this guy. So this one day, so I, I used to drive like a Honda CRV that was a 2006. So it was an old CRV and I had gotten in an accident a couple years before and it took my front bumper off. But I was told by the mechanic that like, I mean, we can put the front bumper back on, but you don't actually need it. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just keep the insurance money and drive around without a front bumper for a while. Like it didn't bother me. 
and I get the impression that he was judgmental of like whether people whether he perceived people to have money or not you know and I think he had seen the car that I drove and maybe assumed that I didn't have money or whatever I, this this was just the impression that I got from him and uh because I got my new car and uh I drove up and I my key fob to get into the gym was on my other keychain of my old car because it's a brand new car. I didn't I forgot and I was in a rush or whatever. And they have two doors usually at the any time. They'll have like one door that you can swipe in for the key fob and then during their office hours that someone's in there, they have another door that like people wanting to sign up or whatever can come in. And I had never forgotten my key fob at this point. I'd been going there for over a year, I think, and I had never forgotten it. And this one day, I forget it. But I'd seen other people that had forgotten theirs go in the other door. They'll sign them in. Like, they want to know when you're coming and going, how many visits you've had, whatever. And so I'm like, okay, I hate that I forgot this, but I'll just go in this door, no big deal. The guy, he's talking to, like, another, like, person that's trying to sign up or whatever, and he's like, uh-uh-uh go use that door literally he's younger than me he's like 10 years younger than me and he's talking to me like a child and I'm like oh sorry I forgot my my thing can you check me in and he was like I'll do it this one time but you know you've got to remember to bring it and I was just like okay I got a new car I'm like this is literally the only time that I've ever forgotten it I mean granted he was new so he doesn't know if I'm someone who always forgets but just the way he handled that, I was just like, what a D-bag, you know? And I was fuming internally through my whole, like, workout. I was just like, I'm going to walk over. I'm just going to cancel my trainings, like, right now. I'm like, I'm probably carrying this whole store with how much you're, ex ex uh, what, what, what's the word? extracting how much money you're extracting from me for these training sessions like I feel like I've got to be the cash cow of this location because I'm paying over $300 a month for the training and the use of the facilities and everything and I was fuming and I was ready to quit and I kind of wish I would have then but like I think he realized like what he had done or I don't know if somebody else went over and was like hey she's paying like she you know like what are you doing man and uh, towards the end of my workout, when we're like cooling down, he comes over and starts like trying to chit chat with me, like just small talk or whatever. And I was just like, man, Ugh. but um, anyway, so that was my experience with Anytime. Like I said, I'm still a member just because it's close to me and it's, I can come in anytime. Um, I'm dreading if I do ever cancel my membership, how hard they're gonna make it for me. But at least now I just, I know, I know to stand up for myself and I know not to feel like timid to say something to them whenever they're trying to take advantage of me and trying to overcharge me and things like that. So I feel like quitting is going to be a little bit easier this time because I was feeling awkward because I didn't want this girl to be upset you know like I don't know like when someone's pressuring you into something sometimes you feel awkward and maybe it's just like a female thing that like you you don't stand up for yourself and you know say what you really want but now I know like when I go to cancel I'm gonna be like look I'm canceling it what do I need to do get me out of this but for now it's fine um but that's what I would say. Go in, sign up. Don't let them talk you into the extra stuff. I wouldn't do the in-body stuff. Um, I don't even use the tanning thing, really. I was just, I just added it because I was going on a cruise and wanted to get a base tan. Um, I would just say to have a gym if the location's close to you and you need something where you can access anytime if you want to come and go early or go really late um and you just want to have the equipment to use it's not as crowded as some of the other gyms if you go at like the peak times you know 
like five is really like between five and seven is probably like the most busy time but if you're going outside of that the gym's dead so you have access to a lot of the equipment I would say go for it I mean it's substantially more expensive than planet um but planet has its its flaws too so I don't want to discourage you 100% from signing up for it, but just know what you're getting into. Know that they're going to push heavy sales on you. Be ready to turn down, you know, whatever they're going to try to push extra on you. Wouldn't recommend the training packages, things like that. But um, I don't know, unless you go to yours and you see that the training seems more legit and more like lined out than what my what my um location had so just just be on the lookout and don't let them like quick talk you and, and sign you into extra things so yeah so sorry that was a long video but that's just my experience and do with it what what you know whatever yeah <laughs>